Okay, so welcome to today's video. So today we'll be taking a look at app tracking protection inside of the DuckDuckGo app. So of course, uh, DuckDuckGo, they make a search engine, they make a web browser for Android, they've even announced a desktop web browser. But another offering that they've uh, made for Android is app tracking protection, where basically it will block uh, tracking on apps. So this will probably make your privacy way better on android because basically this will just block all of the tracking attempts that any app tries to make as long as it's on your block list so we've seen similar apps like this before like block uh blockader if i'm pronouncing that correct uh it also add away all sorts of different apps that do this kind of thing but this is the this is one by DuckDuckGo, and of course DuckDuckGo is a very big brand, so they will of course have a, a quite a bit of popularity, uh, which will definitely help. Uh, so that is one factor with this, and also the UI just looks really nice. So why don't we actually get into uh, my experience so far? So just when I booted up my phone, I saw. Uh, BBC Sounds app. So BBC Sounds was making 18 different tracking attempts without me even opening the app. So that's pretty mad when you think about it. Uh, they made that many tracking attempts and guess what? I, d I only turned on my phone. I didn't even open it up. And this shows how uh, different apps spy on you even when you're not on it. And they're apps that you might not even expect to track you like the BBC Sounds app. I wouldn't expect the BBC Sounds app to track you, really. But apparently they do, although some of this might just be analytic stuff, but it's still important to uh, block it. Al Jazeera English, you can see that they have quite a few tracking attempts. I might be uninstalling that app uh, because I have no... I think I was just testing whether it works on a uh, micro G phone and I downloaded it, so <laughs> yeah. Um, but another app that has trackers in it uh, is, of course, the Hi-Fi Cast app. So, yeah, so some of it just shows how many different apps have tracking in them. Of course, one popular news app that I downloaded for demonstration here is Flipboard. And it, it I haven't even launched it, and it's already got four tracking attempts. And it's tried to contact Twitter, Facebook, Amazon, Visual Studio. So that's to do with Microsoft, I believe. Uh, so that's a lot of people to be contacting without even opening up the app. Uh, so that these are clear tracking attempts. Uh, so, of course, I had the New York Times app installed. Uh, there was two attempts by Google to track me and one attempt by Twitter to track me. So that's quite a few tracking attempts. And as you can see here, I've already deleted that app, uh, as I will do with Al Jazeera's app, because there's a lot of tracking attempts, as well as probably the BBC Sounds app, because... Uh, this kind of tracking is not cool, and uh, although this tracking the, this tracking protection app is very cool, I think that people should probably just uninstall the app that track them. So I think it's very good that this app exists, and currently it's in beta, so you can actually uh, check it out by going into the DuckDuckGo app and uh, saying that you want to get the the new feature this uh little app tracking protection thing uh you have to wait a while but you will eventually get it so i'm uh, i just got it recently so that's cool uh that adds to their email protection as well which is all in the app it's pretty um it's a pretty cool app i think and uh of course they have the uh yeah i really like the duck duck go app because of how much kind of privacy services are integrated into this one app so there's already uh, this app tracking protection. They'll probably make new stuff in the future. Uh, they seem to be building out a nice little ecosystem. 
So, uh, I think we're getting to the end of the video here, guys. So, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, you can hit that like button. If you really enjoyed today's video, you can subscribe. If you really, really enjoyed today's video, you can share. If you share, then it uh, can spread this message of uh, this new privacy protections that you can get on Android and protect you from these creepy trackers that are now on, that are on Android. Uh, of course, this uh, this app is very similar to what Apple have done with uh, iOS app tracking protection. So it might be good to uh, even tell your Apple friends that Android now has something similar. Maybe that will make them switch. <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, you can check me out on LBRY and goodbye.